guys gay greetings everyone thank you so much for joining me today my name is Asiba Vivi if you are new to the channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber welcome back clicking on this video means a lot I'm back with another video I want to talk about hormones today if you have been following me around on my youtube channel you will notice that I did post a related hormone video but Today I'm going to be speaking also about the disadvantage and also as well as advantages of hormones. If you are taking hormones, you will attest to some of the things that I will say. But before we get started, remember to hit the subscribe button, show me some love on the comment section below, give this video a huge thumbs up, it does help me a lot. So without wasting any of your time guys, let's get into it. I'm super excited. Oh. So I have my my hormones here this is called okay the lighting is just messing with everything okay guys I'm not gonna zoom in the hormones because the lighting is just playing with me right now so I'm just gonna do this I hope you guys can see or you will know what I'm talking about so I have the estrofem and as well as primarine so I do use primarine because a lot of times in South, in South Africa we do run out of estrofem uh, estrofem so it's either you using this or you're using this based on your doctor's recommendation I will say that you need to be under a healthcare provider to be able to get administered hormones because they do have a lot of negative impact on our health so be advised guys that you do not self-medicate i know there are certain situations where you opt to use con contraceptives but over a certain time please do stop and start seeking a proper healthcare provider who's gonna provide you with hormones and black market no guys we're not doing that do not go anywhere else just looking for something to quickly transition your body that is not the way to do it but i trust you guys that you are my very intelligent subscribers viewers or whatever the case may be now let's get into it i want to start with advantages of hormones hormones can make your skin softer if you are in hopes to transition to the body that you want to align with your psychology if you don't know what transgender means it means that you are identifying different from their sex assigned at birth and if you don't understand what transgender means you can actually go on google as it may explain things further more or elaborate things better than i can so the other advantage that i want to uh, say to you guys is that it eases up your gender dysphoria if you don't know what gender dysphoria means it means that you are not comfortable your psychological state does not conform with the physical state that you were born in so there there's there's an imbalance between your psychology and your body so let's say your mind is saying i'm a woman and then your body is saying honey no no ways there's no way that i'm a woman but there is a lot more than you, what you can learn about the, the gender dysphoria and uh, so they do help your growth uh, of your they do help you with developing breast but i need to make a disclaim, disclaim on this we have different bodies just because you're using hormones and then you uh boobs like can grow doesn't necessarily mean the other person will experience the same thing not everyone experiences the same the same results um the voice as well but it depends if you started transitioning at uh before you reached your puberty you are most likely to have your voice thinner but it depends guys it's not a a narrow that row it's just it depends on your body and your DNA really and um, what else do I want to say some, some people can pass even if you um, started transitioning at uh, your 30 while you are 30 while you are 40 but it depends guys I'm not saying that 
oh my gosh if you do this then this will happen no each experience is relatively to that person um but i have to come on the primarin primarin has a low dosage of estrogen i normally fret when i have to take these pills because one they are very slow and two they don't have much effect in terms of like uh the maintaining like my estrogens most likely i tend to be imbalanced hormones I, I tend to be imbalanced when i use this um well let's come to disadvantages disadvantage on hormones they are very risky that's why doctors run tests every three months i'll show you mine as well because i need to go to the hospital and get my blood tested laboratory service they check with this form so they check they tick whatever they want to know um they have the hematology they have chemical pathology microbiology and all of that stuff that you want to um be checked so another disadvantage that i have is um they are most likely to induce your blood clots and everything that has related to your blood because it tends to thicken your blood that's why i always don't feel comfortable when people mention oh my gosh i went to somewhere where and it's not a healthcare provider and it's not legal so because they 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 tend to have a negative impact a impact wow it's room then they tend to have a negative effect on your health um lastly i want to say that always get this question if you stop taking hormones what will happen to your body <laughs> well it depends guys ne? because a lot of times uh, people in my circle always ask me I say, what will happen if you stop taking hormones so it depends ne? if you have gone under orchidectomy or any uh, any other surgeries you will have imbalances of hormones and then but if you're starting like if you just started hormones like three months then you are most likely if like let's say i look masculine and then i start take hormones then i start to look feminine my body will start going back to the state you know like of looking masculine but if you have been taking hormones for years it will just take a lot from your body to channel to, to, to kind of deteriorate in terms of like the estrogens and stuff like that but i don't know maybe if i can stop taking hormones for like five years that's when like you're gonna guys see the real thing like maybe my voice will start sounds maybe my voice will start to sound a little bit deeper like i'll be like hi guys hi guys how are you doing you know those ty those type of things like that but um it's a it's a lot of science typically explained kind of thing or hormonal or whatever that you would like to call it so yeah i think that's where i would like to end my video thank you so much for coming on here i really did enjoy uh filming this video because i want to just enlighten people who want to start hormones and um kind of things that they need to comprehend in their mind before they go for their journey all right you guys let me stop rambling uh, i i hope you did enjoy this video remember to give this video a huge thumbs up and also comment on the section below remember to subscribe don't forget to subscribe guys we are there we are there the train is moving slowly but surely i trust you with you guys i trust in you guys i believe in you guys which you can do it you will hit the subscribe button you will comment and in engage on the comment section below if you are starting your hormones i wish you all the best make sure that you are doing things safe and you take your time be patient and it may take years compared to others it may take just one day to just transition your body will get the way you want it to be the results will be reciprocated over a certain time oh this long ago. guys and it's long um guys it's so much man again at this point like guys but it's so huge like 
there's so much humidity in, in my room like wow i'm sweating all right you guys thank you so much i will see you guys all in my next video thank you so much for watching this far i love you love you love you love you love you Eh, 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 eh,